In this video, I want to talk you through how to effectively present a research poster to any type of audience. I've presented tons of research posters, and if you've presented one before, you know that there are tons of different types of people who are going to come by and interact with your poster. And to be able to be really effective in all those different situations, it's actually really good to have different strategies for how you communicate your poster to different people. I'm going to walk you through four different types of audience that you can have as a research poster presenter and talk you through who they are, how to recognize them, and how to present to them effectively. The very first type, and the one that we really all want as a presenter, but honestly, one of the fewest types that are out there is the engager. And so the engager actually wants to hear your story about your research poster. They want you to go through your research poster. And if you're really nervous about this at first, make sure that you're developing a research poster that really is telling a story. And if you don't know how to do that yet, download my scientific research paper checklist it actually walks you through how to look at your data and create a story that you can then publish a paper on. And so from there, you really want to make sure you have a story laid out and practice a, you know, spiel that you're going to give that walks them through every section of the poster. Why did you do this project? What were your kind of methods that you did? And then what were the main results? And on a poster, you want your main results to just be really figures and captions, not a lot of text. This makes it a lot easier for you to walk them through it without reading your poster to them. And then you want to know your main conclusions and what you think should be done from there. With the engager, you can recognize them because they're probably going to walk straight up to your poster. They might be like, hey, can you walk me through your poster or let me hear about your poster? Let, tell me about your project. They will usually engage you first and you can actually feel free to walk through your entire poster with them. They're usually going to be stopping you and asking you questions through that. Just kind of remember where you are, answer their question, and then go back into the talk that you're going to give. With this, you want to make sure a poster talk is definitely under five minutes and even better if you can get it between two and three minutes long. During a poster session, people want to walk around to multiple different posters and if you're sitting there talking to them for 15 minutes, they're going to start losing interest and it's going to take away their time to go to the other posters that they want to see. So having a shorter poster that is really focused on telling them a story to get them to how you supported your ultimate conclusion is what's going to be the best. Now, unfortunately, the majority of the people that are going to come to your poster are not going to want to hear your entire story about your project. And so this is where the three other types of audience are going to come in. So the second type of audience is the questioner. This is a person that is not going to want to hear your spiel. They're either going to have seen your poster, read it in the, you know, book that you get or read your abstract, and they really just want to come and ask very specific questions. Sometimes they'll just look at the title of your poster and ask very specific questions. In this case, they, even though that question, you might be like, well, I need to tell you my entire spiel to answer it. Try to be as succinct as possible and just answer the question that they're asking. This is what they're really looking for you to do and is what's going to really be the best way to engage with them. And you can always see this person because they're going to be coming up to you and the first thing they're going to start saying is maybe like, hi, this is a great poster. Can you tell me how you did this? Or what about this? Or have you thought about this instead? And that's just going to be just answer their questions and let them move on. This is actually really good engagement. And if they are asking questions, it actually means you have a really good poster. Don't think that because you didn't go through your entire spiel that that was a bad interaction or that you don't have a great poster. This is really what poster sessions are meant for is starting those conversations. Now, the other two types of audience are probably not your most positive audience. And so let, number three is going to be the inquisitor. And the inquisitor is a type of questioner 
but they're only asking questions that are really meant to degrade your research or to degrade you as an individual. Unfortunately, in science, not everyone is a, you know, good community member. Not everyone is nice. And not everyone is strictly there to have scientific conversations. Some people don't like their own research challenge that you might not even know you're challenging their research. Some people just might have been in a bad mood. There's so many reasons why someone will become an inquisitor. Whenever you're faced with these people, just try to answer the questions the best that you can and try not to take anything personally. The questions that they are asking, you simply need to say, okay, I answered your question the best that I can. If there is valuable feedback, constructive criticism you can take from that, take it and implement it in your further research, implement it in the way that you communicate your current project, but don't take things to heart. I once had an experience where I was presenting a research poster and somebody asked me, you know, was clearly an inquisitor, asking me all these different types of questions that were really meant to just degrade my research. And ultimately, in the end, just told me that I would never be a successful chemist because I wasn't rigorous enough to do all the different testing that I needed to do. And in reality, what I found out later is that he was a postdoc from a lab that my work was contradicting what they did because they didn't do that initial testing from the beginning. And so I think it's really important to recognize that you don't know the reason behind those questions and to not take those things personally. Don't take them to heart. Move on and don't let them get to you as much, as much as you can. I mean, I was really, really annoyed and I probably let it get to me a little bit in the beginning. And then I was just like, the fact that somebody is saying something like that to you is just ridiculous. And they have no idea your true capability as a scientist from a poster. So then the fourth type of audience is the passerby. And so this is a person who's probably going to stand a decent amount away from your poster, isn't going to come up close within like what we would consider, you know, a close connection. And they're probably going to stand further away and they're just going to look at their poster. They probably won't even talk to you from the beginning. And so they're going to look at their poster, decide whether or not they want to talk to you or just get the information they want from your poster and then walk on by. And this could be because they're not really interested in the topic. It could be because they're busy and they have something else to go to. They don't want to engage in a conversation. What I would really encourage you to do is when you see somebody doing this, don't start trying to give them your spiel. Honestly, like I've, I'm often one of these people just because I'm so introverted and like I have to really be interested in your poster for me to like actually want to hear your spiel because just talking to people just exhausts me so much. And so what you want to do instead is just open the floor for if they have questions. So you can say, hey, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. That way it doesn't put any pressure on them to interact with you. They're able to gleam what they need from your poster. And if they do have questions, they can move from being a passerby into being a questioner. And so then you can interact with them in that way. And again, don't take passerbys as a fence or think that you have a bad poster because somebody was a passerby in your poster. It is nothing against your poster. It does not mean you had a bad poster or you are giving a bad presentation. It simply might mean that they're not really interested in that topic or they have something else that they need to do. So I hope this is really helpful. And if you're getting to the point of creating your research posters and presenting them, you should also be thinking about turning your research into a manuscript for publication. And if you want to do that, make sure you download my scientific research paper checklist. It's going to help you walk you step by step through how to come up with your story and write your research papers and submit them for publication. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.